let's calculate the division of radicals we see on the screen. We can see that we have a fraction with two radicals and where the exponents are different. We have a 4 and a 6. So we have to find a common index so we can divide both of the roots. For this, let's calculate the minimum common multiple between 4 and 6. And let's factorize the numbers in prime numbers. 4 is can be divided by 2, and 2 is 2, so the 6 would be divided by 2, 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 4 is equal to 2 squared, and 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So the minimum common multiple would be the common numbers between 4 and 6 raised to the biggest exponent, so that would be 2 squared times the 3 of the 6. And 2 squared times 3 is 4 times 3, and that is 12. So 12 would, will be the index of our new roots. So the numbers inside, or letters in our case, inside the roots, of the inside of the radicals, we just have to divide the index 12 divide by the old index 4 and that is 3. So let's raise x squared times x cube times y cube, I'm sorry, to 3. And now 12 divided by 6 is 2, so x times y squared is raised to 2. And making the powers, calculating them, we would have the indexes, the roots of index 12, and inside them we would have x square times, I'm sorry, x square cubed, that is 2 times 3 is 6, x raised to 6, and y cube, cubed is y to the ninth. So, on the denominator, x square is the same, and y square is x with y to the fourth. Now let's write everything inside a root, as they have the same index, and now let's divide what's inside them. This would be equal to the twelfth root of the x to the sixth divided by x the square is equal to x to the fourth, and y to the ninth divided by uh, y to the fourth is equal to y to the fifth. And this is the result of the operation between radicals we were asked to solve.